Hello. In this video, we will discuss satya. It is the second of the yamas and essentially means truthfulness. And we're going to discuss two aspects of this topic. Uh, the first aspect um, being that of simply telling the truth. Should we always say the truth in an honest way or not? Now, in most regards, any of us right away would say, well, of course, of course we should always tell the truth. And so to, to get us to think about this subject fully, I want to take on a, um, a path of devil's advocate, if you will, uh, just, just to kind of dive into what it means to be truthfulness. So let's look at three scenarios. Scenario one, uh, we've probably had this experience in life when a partner or a friend asks you how they look in the, the outfit that they're wearing. You know, the, the, the typical joke is, is the honey, how, how, do my, how, how does my butt look in these jeans? And it depends on who you ask, I guess, but some of us would probably say uh, it's better to be um, truthful in this regard because you, you don't want your loved one to go to go out if they don't indeed look good in the outfit that they're wearing. But on the other hand, you might have uh, people from experience or not who say, no, 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 don't don't be honest in this situation. Um, say, oh, oh, you look fine. Now, the point I'm trying to make with this this uh, scenario is that the truth is not always defined simply as black or white or right or wrong. The truth is that there are always two sides to every story, if not multiple, many, many multiple sides to every story. And what's true for you isn't always true for somebody else, and it depends on um, what you stand to gain, what you stand to lose, what your experience with the topic at hand is. Uh, you know, there, there's many shades of gray to, to all possibilities. Let's explore this a little further with another scenario. Um, say, for instance, you and your family are experiencing uh, an extreme storm outside. It's, it's, it's raining, there's thunder. I don't know what's going on, but you are concerned for your safety. And a child, maybe it's your child or maybe um, it's somebody else's child, but, but they come up to you and they say, mommy or daddy or uncle Johnny, are we gonna be okay? I'm, I'm scared. Now, I think most of us in this situation would probably try to comfort the child. We would say something along the lines of, of course we're going to be all right. Don't worry about a thing. Even if you don't totally feel that inside. Now there could equally be an argument for being totally honest with the, with the child. Albeit you should be tactful um, in, in your delivery of that honesty. But you can make a solid argument for either approach. And then a third scenario I want to look at is a little bit more extreme than the first two. It is the story of uh, Joseph Schindler from World War II. Uh, many of us have seen the excellent movie by Steven Spielberg called Schindler's List. In this movie, Joseph Schindler, who is a prominent businessman, lies to the Nazi authorities to keep um, many Jewish people hidden from their discovery. And essentially he saves their life as a result of his dishonesty. So in this instance, I think almost unequivocally, most of us would say, of course, he should have lied to protect those lives. Which kind of gets to um, a, a distinction that I want to make with all three of these scenarios. So you might pose the existential question, is it, is it, should we always tell the truth or is it okay to lie sometimes? And I think that um, in consideration of how complex 
the truth can be or, or how many shades of gray we might be observing within any moment. The key point here is that does your truth in this instance break the yama of ahimsa? So in other words, will your truth cause harm? Now, if that is indeed the case, then it gives you a whole new layer of considerations to evaluate um, before you make your choice, before you make your decision to tell the truth or not. And now the second aspect of satya that I think is worth uh, talking about is the concept of your truth or inner truth to be differentiated or, or a little bit different from simply telling the truth or not. I'm talking about stepping into who you are, what you feel to be right, what you feel to be the right thing to do, and, and following through on, on those, those deeply held uh, considerations. I'm talking about getting things right the first time. Probably most of us have been in situations where we didn't totally stand up for ourselves, where we, we just wanted to go along with the flow or we didn't want to create conflict. We didn't want to rock the boat. And so we allowed something to transpire that later on we regretted or perhaps we had to apologize or walk back or do over. Now, a tremendous amount of energy physical energy, emotional energy, spiritual energy can be spent having to do or redo things that you possibly could have gotten right the first time had you stood within your truth. And so what I'm talking about is having the ability to know yourself derived from spiritual practice, derived from yoga practice, derived from um, self-introspection, and then stepping into that with our choices, with our decisions, with our actions, with our communication. Try to get things right the first time. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and avoid spending the time and energy to have to redo and make things right a second time. Easier said than done, but with practice, it's something we can get better at, just like all the yogic practices. Satya.